Hello, my name is Pixelated Twix, and welcome to Dragon Age 2. Yes, you guys, we are here. I, If you watched my brief little video um, that I uploaded, you would know what happened to Dragon Age Origins and why we didn't finish it. And you would have also been able to enjoy a little summary of my choices, what my choices would have or may have been had I been able to finish the game. Good news is, well, it is good news, bad news. Had I played this uh, Dragon Age Origins on Steam, we wouldn't have ran into this problem. Apparently Origins, EA Origins is having some difficulties running, but Steam seems to be fine. Um, had I, I wasn't able to transfer the save over to Steam. Apparently that's not an option. Had I played it on Steam and wanted to transfer it over to EA Origins, it would have worked perfectly fine, but I don't know why that is a thing, but that's okay. Um, I it's okay, I'm not going to play the game all over again. I refuse to do that. I put way too many hours in it. But hopefully that little summary will give you an idea of what happened in the story. But I'll be happy to explain things as we go along. Dragon Age 2 is um, the second installment of the Dragon Age saga. Now, this one is probably the most hated of the three um, because it was rushed. Um, the production of this, this particular installment was rushed um, by uh, EA Bioware. Um, it can be... It, it was... It can be a little repetitive in some areas, but um, overall, I love the story. The story was Bioware still at its best, um, and um, the combat is much faster, and you'll see that obviously the graphics look a lot better in Dragon Age 2 than they did Dragon Age Origins. This was probably about a year in between the release of Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age 2, so a huge upgrade. I, it might be a little more, but I don't think very much af very much further after Awakenings. Uh, Awakenings was like the, the, la the major DLC of Dragon Age Origins, which we didn't get to play. Um, so without further ado, let's get into this. Now, the customization isn't that great. It's not as detailed as uh, Dragon Age Origins, again, because a lot of things were rushed. But basically, we're going to play um, one of the members of a family that's running from uh, uh, Lotharin. If you remember, there was the first town in Dragon Age Origins that we visited after we left Flemeth House with Morgan. Lotharin was um, destroyed by the dark spawn but before it was we were there for quite some time we met liliana there we met uh sten and we released him from his cage um and so on and so forth the uh, this family is fleeing from that town we did not meet them but um the idea is that some of the people that we were in contact with in origins and knew of this family or knew the family um, I'm going to play as a rogue, um, so but you can play as a warrior, uh, mage, or uh, rogue. I like rogue, uh, so we're going to go with that. We play the female rogue, and okay, we're starting off. Cutscene already. Here we go. I'll try to be quiet. Had gentler invitations. <clears throat> I am Cassandra Pentecost, seeker of the Chantry. <laughs> and just uh, what are you seeking? The champion. Uh, which one? You know exactly why I'm here. Time to start talking, dwarf. They tell me you're good at it. <laughs> What do you want to know? Everything. Start at the beginning.
All right, we're gonna get into the story pretty quickly here, but the idea is Varric is telling this story from his point of view. And um, this is kind of like an intro into the game as well as kind of what's going on in the story, the beginning of the story. So um, I'm going to play my character Scouts. without her customization. You have to fight them sooner or later. This Can is the base. Stand here? Hawk? Prepare yourself. My main character's name is Hawk, or that's her last name. So uh, they don't really mention her first name quite a bit. All right, so I'm gonna get in. I have a lot of abilities, uh, or will have a lot of abilities um, that I won't have at the beginning. She's kind of all powerful right now, or very powerful, not all powerful. Let me out. Um, so you can already see that the combat is a lot faster than it was in the uh, Dragon Age Origins. Um, so I'm here fighting with my sister uh, Bethany. She is a mage. You can probably tell. I don't have to tell you that. Do I? Now. Alright. I love the combat in this game. It's just hard for me to get... I'm used to playing this game with a controller. So, like, yeah, this game is, like, amazing on, um, if you can find this game on Xbox or PlayStation, this game is fun, uh, on a controller. It's much easier. We can't keep this up forever. Um, all right, so neither can they. Perhaps we'll be lucky, and they'll run out of Darkspawn. Here they come. Shall I deal with them? Um, do it. No, do it. All yours, sister. All right. Let's hit it. That's enough. Concentrating because there's like a bunch of them, even though I'm kind of like meant to defeat them in this. Um, because this is just like very, like I said, telling the story, and I'm pretty much playing it out. Uh, Varric is a kind of a master storyteller and he embellishes quite a bit. Um, so I'm pretty sure I probably did not fight this with just my sister, Bethany. Alright. Let me just uh, throw some bombs in here. Oops. All right, this should be the last of them. Sweet. All right, here we go. Ooh, that hurts my eyes. I'm not kidding. He's ugly. He's ugly. All right. This one's a little bloodier than the other one, too. There's no end to them. Jeez. That's cool. Man. Still cool. Bullshit. That's not what really happened. Does that not match the story you've heard, Seeker? I'm not interested in stories. I came to hear the truth. <laughs> what makes you think I know the truth? Don't lie to me! 
You knew her even before she became the champion. Even if I did, I don't know where she is now. Do you have any idea what's at stake here? Let me guess. Your precious chantries fall into pieces and put the entire world on the brink of war. And you need the one person who could help you put it back together. The champion was at the heart of it when it all began. If you can't point me to her, tell me everything you know. You aren't worried I'll just make it up as I go? Not at all. You'll need to hear the whole story. All right, so this is this game ties in the first um, Dragon Age with this the third Dragon Age. This is kind of like the prologue to the culm not the culmination, but before chaos really hits. And like I said, this is during the blight because this family's running. Um, so Varric is telling the story from the point of view of after um, after Dragon Age two finishes quote unquote, and uh, right in between Dragon Age 2 and Dragon Age 3. So it's kind of confusing, but basically he's, it's, um, well, he's telling the story of what's going to happen or what's happening or what happened and we'll be playing that story. Does that make sense? Okay, let me stop. All right. So let's just pick a face. No, let's, let's, this is a preset. So let's go with, um, can I... All right, appearance, preset, skin. Can I can I do anything? What what the yakety yak is going on here? Um. Oh, okay. Let's go in here. First of all, let's use Hero Ferelden. Um. We are Hero Ferelden. I guess I can import from my game save, but it doesn't really tell me. Um, wow, this is just Frostback Mountain. That's all I have. All right, well, whatever. Um, let's just use Hero of Ferelden. Okay. Yeah, we'll just use this because this isn't feeding off the Dragon Age keep. You guys saw that. Um, appearance. Portrait. I wonder why I can't um, change her look. Preset. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's why. Um, so this is a good base. Um, skin complexion. We can keep it clear. Tone. We'll bring, we bring her down. Um, let's see, I, the skin tones are a little limited, that's a little too red, um, in the game, but we'll go with this, this looks kind of weird, but alright, we'll fix it, what's the complexion look like, oh, nope, okay, she's young, Hawk is young, um, blush color, we don't need blush, lip color, I mean, I generally don't, I mean, that's fine. We can even go nude. All right. Uh, eyeshadow. None. Tattoo. Yeah, she probably will have a tattoo. Um, some of these markings are like cast markings. But let's go with... I think she would have tattoos on her face. Um, let's go with something like that and make it a little less harsh. And, um, all right, hair. Let's see, what are we gonna do? Like I said, limited, but I kind of like, I kind of like this one. Um, let's make her hair. I think I kind of like the hair being white. Yes, yes. Make her eyebrows white too. Yes, yes. Um, and then her eyes. I want to make her eye shape. Yeah, and then I want her to have. 
of eye spacing kind of in a little bit. Just got big eyes. No, let's mm -hmm. bring it back. That looks weird. Um, her eyes don't need to be that big. Really? Uh, let's make her eye color. I kind of want to. Can I make it white? Yeah. Um, what's the brow depth? Is that like her? I mean, that doesn't do much. Brow height. She looks kind of stern. I think she would be a little bit stern, maybe. I don't know. I, I think I'm going to go with a more humorous hawk, maybe. So, I don't know. Great. Somebody rides by with a motorcycle. Let's fix her news. Um, I wish I could... no size, no stuff. What about bridge width? I always like a wide bridge for some reason. Okay. I think our chenage is a little, whatever. Um, to... yeah, let's make her, I don't want her to be like overly pretty, but um, okay, and then, let's see, mouth, lip size, make her full-lipped, um, it's about as full-lipped as gonna go, um, let's see, cheekbone depth, it's hard to tell. Um, jaw width. I think her jaw is a little wide. Well, no, I kind of like her jaw to be a little wide. Um, narrower chin, though. And, all right, let's look at this. Okay, that. That looks weird. Okay, that's about as dark as I'm gonna get. Okay. Uh, like I said, skin tones are a little lacking in these games. I mean, these are older games, so I try to cut them a little slack, but um, you know, this isn't bad. I mean, it looks still a little on the ashy red side. That looks like she's super shiny, but that's okay. We'll go with that. All right. Um, tattoo intensity, we did that. We did appearance, neck, ears. Ooh, let's just go with neck thickness. Make her a willowy neck. That's a little too willowy. All right, there we go. All right, let's name her. Um, let's see, her name is Marion on this. That's her real name. Um, so we will name her. Mm. We went with Elyria the last time. Let's go with, um, uh, hmm. Let's go keep it with an A name. Um, Ari. I like Ari. Ari Hawk. All right. So we have events. She's Hero, uh, Hero Pharrell, and this is a really basic, um, oh, wait a minute. Okay, import. Let's just import because I don't know what they're going to. Let's just import it. Okay. Yeah, let's just import. Let them figure it out. See what happens here. Um, all right, let's go ahead and start the game. We're going to go with normal difficulty. And uh, this was took entirely too long. The blight but that's okay. have been unleashed on Ferelden. Dark spawn poured out of the wilds, clashing against the army at the ruins of Ostagar. The battle was a disaster. King Kalin died on the field with his men, betrayed by his most trusted general. Unopposed, the horde marched on the village of Lothering. The village burned. And many innocents were slaughtered. The champion's family 
barely escaped in time. I think that's all of them. For the moment, make us save us. We've lost it all. Everything your father and I built. Um... I'm sorry, Mother. I know how much Lothering meant to you, but we have to move. Yes. You're right. We should have run sooner. Why did we wait so long? Why are you looking at us? We've been running since Ostagar. Um, so I'm going to kind of give her a mix between a, like sarcastic or humorous, um, and kind of noble. So yeah, let's go. Speaking of running. Not to interrupt, but the Blight's not going to wait while we stand here pointing fingers. Please, listen to your sister. Then let's go. Lead Why on. does he have dreads? Does that look like dreads to you? I don't know. Locks maybe... <laughs> I don't remember him looking like that, but I mean, it's been a while since I played this game, so I'm going to be okay. These are things that I well, at least it's not boring. I can loot. I, I think I can loot stuff. Okay, yes. Oh, okay. Um. Oh. Yeah, like I said, I the, that first scenario, I had all the uh, attacks that I could have used. I don't necessarily have them right now. Um. Okay, that's my sister. Um, don't remember when the dog came in. Okay, we do have a dog. All right, let's take all of that. Um, let's see, what else did we... Did we have a dog? Like, when did when did we get a dog? What is this? Okay, I mean, we have a dog. Whatever. Uh, new quest, the irons. So we have a bunch of stuff. This is, like, uh, DLC stuff, so... Um, Wait, where are we going? Away from the Darkspawn, where else? And then where? We can't just wander aimlessly. I love how the skin tone changes with the uh, hero. Uh, well, she's the hero. Yeah, she will be the hero. Um, why not? So long as we wander aimlessly away from the Horde, I'm happy. We can go to Kirkwall. Well, that wouldn't be my first choice. There's a lot of Templars in Kirkwall, Mother. I know that. But we still have family there. And an estate. <sighs> then we need to get to Guaran and take ship. If we survive that long, I'll just be happy to get out of here. All right, so Kirkwall is um, her, their mother's uh, like hometown. But um, <laughs> it's full of Templars, as Bethany said. Oh. This girl, this lady, let me tell you. You will not have him. She is tough. They will not have you. Not while I breathe. Right, so like I was saying, Kirkwall is um, their mother's um, hometown. And Bethany, being a mage, knowing full well that she's an apostate. And when I, apostate is someone that is not a part of the circle. And if you guys watch enough of Dragon Age Origins, the circle is where mages are sent um, to, like, basically protect the rest of the world from them Stop and squirming oops. Wesley you'll make it worse apostate keep your distance see well, he's Templar Maker has a sense of humor <laughs> darkspawn and now a Templar I thought they all abandoned Lothering the spawn are clear in their intent but a mage is always unknown the order dictates Wesley that woman is an apostate the order dictates. Dear, they saved us. 
the Maker understands. Hawk is like, try me. Of course. I am Aveline Valen. This is my husband, Sir Wesley. We can hate each other when we're safe from the Horde. Investigate, yeah. Um, why are you here? A strange time to be hunting apostates. His fellows left with the Chantry priests. I was traveling to Denerim on business for the Order, <laughs> but I had to turn south when I heard of Ostagar. The blood is ridiculous. Bad luck and judgment brought us together here before the attack. The nice Templar has been convinced to postpone his hunt for illegal mages. So let's not dwell upon it, shall we? Wise girl. Um, let's investigate further. Can you be trusted? You're quick to offer your allegiance. Another blade between us and the Darkspawn? Yes, please. So long as the Horde is their first concern. My duty is clear, but that is for another day, if we are granted that opportunity. We will be fine. We all will. All right. Um, can he keep up? How bad is that wound? I think my sword arms are lost, even with healing. Then you will have mine, as always. For now, we move with you. North is cut off. We barely escaped the main body of the Horde. Then we're trapped. The wilds are to the south. That's no way out. If the options are south or die, I'll take my chances with south. Their poor mom. She's so stressed, you can just tell. All right, so we've got another person added to our party. Uh, we have, okay, Carver, that's our brother. He is our rival. He is a hard cookie, or a hard nut to crack, I guess. He does, he's just always at our throat. Um, but we leveled up anyways, so how do we do this again? Um, I forgot how you level up. Uh, is it level up? There you go. Um, so attributes, we're just going to do this really quick. Dexterity, of course, cunning, um, and so let's just add some more, I think, dex, I think I need, I think I might need strength, but we're going to go ahead and add some more in cunning, confirm. Um, so I can go down a couple trees here. I think I'm going to stick with daggers. Um, so let's. What's this dual weapon? Unforgiving chain. So I have to use this backstab. Okay, confirm that. Bethany. Bethany is my mage. I'm going to give her magic, of course. Um, willpower. Confirm that. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to use her as like a DPS type mage damage. So I just got to figure out like where I'm going with her. Arcane magic. I could do a little bit of mix. Maybe I could do like a frost fire mage. So what do we have? Let's go with, well, we don't have that option. Let's give her spirit bolt. Let's give her that. Carver, um, give him some strength, constitution, and uh, we already have someone sword and board. I think he prefers two-handed. I'm not sure if he's sword and board. Is he sword and board? I don't know. Let's just go down the, the where he's at. Let's just go down the tree. Oh, we can't do that. Okay, back. Um, battle master. Okay, can we do this one then? Stonewall. Okay, confirm. All right, let's go. Okay, Rorge, let's head out. This is our dog. Dog. His name is Dog. That's his name. All right. I will loot later. All right, let's use my CC. Throw that in there. Wait a minute, that didn't work. Okay, there we go. Well, that was just too freaking late. That's what that was. Um, everybody's just taking stuff down. Let me have some too. Um, dogs not doing anything. I guess our dog is our dog not an attack dog. Oh, yeah. So now I don't remember if the dog is like a party member or if he's like, um, 
if he's even controllable. I'm not even sure. Like I said, it's been a long time. Oh, we even have stam potions in here. Thank you. Um. So. You ready? I'm ready. I'm ready too. Oh, let me just quickly take these health focuses. Um, mm, 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 mm. let me see. Oh gosh, she's coming after me. Okay, he's up here. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, who is that down there? Okay, okay, my goodness. Are we done? All right, cool. Um, I wonder, can I play as Bethany? Yes, I can. So if I wanna switch back and forth with Bethany or Carver or any of the people in my party, I can do that. Okay, I'm just, like I said, it's been a while, so I don't know all the nuances of the game. Oh, sweet, I got a belt. Also, the one thing I do hate about this game, you can't really change armor, like you get, certain pieces but you can't really like customize your armor like you can in dragon age origins or even inquisition this it sucks but i mean that's what happens when you kind of rush a game um uh, but like i said the storyline is still good i love dragon age too and there's a few people that do mm, quite a few people that don't okay jeez All right. Oh, shoot. Oh, my gosh. Bethany's going to die. Quick heal. Jeez. All right. Quickly, before they regroup. Yeah. We must press towards the wilds. This is the first I want to loot. Let me loot. Dead refugee. A lot of dead, as usual. Oh, that's right. Okay, let me see what I got. Inventory. New equipment. Okay, so... Hmm. I don't remember if I can, like, switch back and forth, but let's see. Is this better than what I have? Yes? No? I don't know. I mean, it's the same. Okay. What about armor? I got boots. Can I use these? I mean, are these better than what I have, I think? Yeah. Okay. And a belt. That is for Bethany, I think. She can use that because it's mana. And then, okay, we're good. All right. So everybody leveled up. I wonder if I could just, like, um, auto live. <sighs> okay. Let's, let's just quickly go through this. Um... Cunning, Dex, let's give myself a little constitution, confirm. Um, let's see what we have here. I don't want, let's go with Scoundrel. Blind side, back to back. Yeah, okay. Wait, 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 what, what, what was this one? Stealth, lingering, evade. Yeah, let's do that one. All right, let's auto. Oh, I can't. Shoot. All right, dang it. Um, let's give her more magic, willpower. Ugh, give her a little life because I don't want her dying out there. Um, I do kind of want to give her some healing. So I think I will give her a little bit of a healing spell right now. Um, and Carver, let's give you some constitution looking all... Which uh, uh, locks? That looks like locks. I'm sorry. Um, strength, strength, confirm. Um, let's see. I think mighty blow and my tank. Um, strength, constitution, confirm. What you got, girl? What you got? What you got? What you got? What do you have? Turn the blade. Um, what's this? OK, 
Okay, that looks like like an arcane warrior almost. Uh, she is defender, weapon, and shield. Let's just work on her weapon and shield game. Okay, can we do anything? Shield bash. Okay. All right. Boom. Resume. F5 to say No. Can't do that. Can't do that. Nope. All right. Take all and Kokiri Wilds. I'm not reading all this. All right, guys, that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you are going to enjoy Dragon Age 2 as much as I do. Um, but if you could do me a favor and give me a thumbs up so YouTube knows that you like this content. Also, if you're not a member of the family, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It'll be greatly appreciated. And I do hope you come back and visit with us again. Until next time, I've been Pixelated Twix. She is Hawk. Ciao.